Inspiration Club person and welcome to Life for Darius Coupon. So, I have decided that it's time for me to go natural. My hair has been relaxed since I was about 4 years old. And so needless to say, I've had a relaxer in my hair for more than 20 years now. So I decided that I'm going to go natural. So as you can tell, I've been wearing braids recently and I plan to keep my hair braided at least until the end of this year. And then I plan to chop off some of my hair. My hair right now is about here. So it's definitely past my shoulders, almost to my bra line. Um, so yes, so I want to talk to you about that. So transitioning. So I've been just washing my braids like every week and a half to two weeks. And I noticed, like, since I've been here in Nevada, I'm like, my scalp has been so dry. It's been so irritated. I've had a lot of flaking. And I'm like, what is going on? When I recently saw a post on Facebook that was talking about the Cantu brand and how in some of their products they're actually putting, I cannot pronounce it, Ibisil alcohol. Basically, they're putting rubbing alcohol in some of their products, which is drying out hair and making it very brittle. So I'm just like, let me double check some of the products that I'm using just to make sure it's not having you know, rubbing alcohol in it, maybe that's why my scalp is so dry. So, I washed my hair like three days ago, used some of the Jamaican castor oil leave-in conditioner, felt amazing. And yesterday I was like, you know, my scalp is not really dry, but I want to add just a little bit more moisture into it. So, I was like, let me use my Carol's Daughter's almond milk. So, I put this in my hair, sprayed it, and within 10 minutes, I was like, my scalp is burning, like, it's this weather again, like this is the weather irritating me. And something told me, Dara, you need to just read the bottle because maybe there's something in it that's irritating you. It doesn't have rubbing alcohol in it, but it does have wheat flour in it. It has wheat protein. I am gluten-free because I'm allergic to wheat, barley, and rye. So this explains why my scalp has been burning, why it's been dry, why I've had extreme dandruff and flakes to the point like I almost thought I had psoriasis. It's because I'm allergic to this and I keep putting it in my hair and I, you can't really see on camera but there's literally this much of it gone. I've used like almost half of this in my hair which explains why I've had so much dandruff and irritation in my scalp. So this is going to go bye bye. Didn't actually throw it because I don't want this bust open on my carpet. So yes, I'm going to stop using this but I wanted to talk to you because now that I'm getting ready to do my hair for the night, um, I am going to shampoo it right now. So what I'm going to do is I've been using this Shea Moisture. It's really, really, really good. It's an African Water Mint and Ginger Detox and Refresh Scalp Elixir. So if my camera will focus on it, this product is really awesome and it's not focusing. I'm so sorry. So anyways, it won't focus on the product, but I'll put the information for it in the description box of this video. This is really awesome. It's a scalp elixir. I noticed when my scalp was itchy really, really bad and I put this on there, it just made it feel amazing. So in another video, I'll actually show you how I do the kinky twist maybe in like another month or so because I'm going to redo these. I will tighten these up um, um, tomorrow after my hair dries. So as you can tell, I have quite a bit of new growth from my hair just growing out naturally. So the way this works is you just take it and you spray it directly onto your scalp. So what I do sometimes is I'll part it, so I'll take a section of the braids because the nice part about braids, my hair is perfectly sectioned already. So you just spray it onto your scalp and then you massage it in. So I'll do that for each row of the braids. You just massage it in and then you let it sit for 20 minutes. And then after that I'm going to do my shampoo and conditioner. Now I have been using a different variation of products. I've used Shea Moisture, I've also used Carol's Daughter, which I'm, and Cantu, which I'm going to stop using the Carol's Daughter because all the products I have are the almond milk, and this one for sure has wheat protein in it. I double checked the hair mask, I don't think that has wheat protein in it, I didn't see it on the label, but just to be on the safe side, I want to triple check it because I don't want to wash my hair again and go through that same issue. Now one thing I really like about this, it goes on so smooth and you kind of get like that slight tingling sensation in your scalp. feels so good. And then so yeah, you just put it in your scalp, let it sit for about 20 minutes. I honestly will leave it in for like 30 minutes to an hour and then I go ahead and I rinse it out. And I did it all in the front of my hair and I'm also going to do it in the back as well. And then, really quick, because I'm not going to spend the whole video massaging this into my scalp, which I'm 
essentially almost done. I love, love, love the Kinky Twist, and thank you guys for the compliments. I love them, and yes, I did them myself. It took me about six hours with a couple of breaks and stopping to eat dinner. Loved it. And I'm learning through this natural process that my hair is most likely definitely 4C, and it's low porosity. I did a um, hair test where you take a loose strand of your hair and you put it in water, and if it stays at the top, then your hair is low porosity because it's not really absorbing much water. And then if it sinks somewhere in the middle, then it's medium porosity, meaning that it absorbs and sometimes it doesn't, like it's right in the middle, it's normal. And then high porosity is when your hair sinks all the way to the bottom. That means that it absorbs everything, it absorbs all the moisture, which I thought was like a really, really good thing, but it turns out it can be and it cannot be as well because your hair just kind of doesn't hold moisture as well. So anyway, so we are about six minutes in, so I put this into my scalp and then you just really just massage it in and it feels so good and it smells like mint. It smells delicious. So already my scalp feels better. It's nice and soothing, which is what I really, really love about it. And then I'm going to follow through with my favorite shampoos and conditioners. This is Tresemme with coconut milk and aloe vera. I really like this. It's slightly scented. I have very sensitive skin, guys, like very sensitive skin, and this does not bother me at all. Um, so there's the shampoo is green and the conditioner is in the white bottle. Do not make mistake them because they have one that looks very similar to this, but it has wheat flour in it. Almost grabbed that one. Would have been a hot mess because I would have been like really messed up with my skin. So I'm going to leave this um, scalp elixir on for about 30 minutes, and then I'm going to shampoo my hair with this condition it as well and you can wash your hair with braids all I do is I rinse it and then I take the shampoo put on my fingers and I massage it through my scalp and once I feel like it's gone all the way through my scalp then I'll massage it into the braids rinse it out and then do the same exact thing with the conditioner and I normally would use the leave-in conditioner but because that has wheat flour in it I'm going to change it so I won't be using that one but I will use my favorite, sorry I'm like trying to get it out, <laughs> I will use my Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil, which, here we go, is it going to focus, there we go, yes, so I will be using my Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow, and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. This one is amazing. So after I wash my hair, I will just towel dry it, I'll let it sit in the towel for maybe about 10 minutes. Then I take it out of the towel, and I'm talking about doing all of this with the braids. And then I just take some of the Jamaican castor oil, which is kind of like the consistency, kind of the consistency of like mayonnaise. I just take it and I massage it all through my scalp and then through the braids as well, because since my hair is still in the braids, I want to make sure that it's getting moisturized because I don't want it to break off or to be damaged. So yes, wanted to give you that update. So be sure to check all of the products that you use because you don't want to use something that you're allergic to that has Ibisol rubbing alcohol in it. You don't want that because that's definitely going to dry out your hair and damage it, which is the complete opposite of what you want. So be sure to check those um, ingredients on the products that you use. So this was my update. Let me know if you want to see how I do my kinky twist. As you can tell, I have a lot of new growth. My hair has already grown out about an inch, a little bit more than that, in the month that I've had these. So I'm going to redo them this week. Maybe if I get some time, I'll stop and I'll do a little video showing you how to do some of the clips. And I did do this myself. The hardest part, honestly, was just the back of my head. So I took like a full length wall mirror and put it behind me and used a rat tail comb, which looks like this. I use this rat tail comb to, actually this isn't a rat tail because this has two. I have another one that just has one prong. So it looks like a regular comb, but on the end it has one little prong. So I use that to just slide through my hair and part it. So it would be interesting to see what my hair, oh, this is a rat tail comb. This is a rat tail comb. So it'll be really interesting to see what my hair texture looks like when it's all done. And transition, I plan on doing a chop in December. Not a huge chop, because I think Hubby would honestly like kind of freak out if I just chopped off all my hair. He says he wouldn't, but who really knows? So anyways, thanks so much for watching. Thanks, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later. And be sure to check out my couponing YouTube channel, Daryl's Coupons, and quick recap. 
items that are products that I'm using. I'm using the Shea Moisture African Men and Ginger Detox and Refresh Scalp Elixir. I will be shampooing my hair with the Tresemme Aloe Vera and Coconut Milk Expert Shampoo and Conditioner. And then I will follow through with the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Grow Restore Leave-In Conditioner. And if you do decide to use the Carol's Daughters and you're not allergic to wheat like I am, not gonna lie, it works really awesome. Your hair will feel good, it's moisturized. The only thing is that I'm allergic to it, so my hair felt good, but my scalp felt horrible. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go now. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.